Good morning. Well, at least it's morning for me. Um, <clears throat> I've read through the Bible several times. I've been in Bible studies. I've been uh, a Bible instructor. It would seem I've done it all, but every once in a while, there's a blessing from a reading that I just have to share with you. Once again, this is from uh, the Clear Word Bible, and it is... It's what I read purely for pleasure uh, because it is, it's in everyday terms. Um, but go along with me for a moment in Romans 12. And the title is Grateful and Reasonable Service. Now, we've talked in the last couple of months about spiritual gifts. And to me, this book of the Bible just cements what spiritual gifts are. Therefore, I plead with you, my brothers, because of God's kindness and mercy toward you, offer your lives as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to him. This is both reasonable and the spiritual way to worship God. Don't pattern your life after this world, but let God transform you from the inside out and give you a new way of thinking. Then you will know what, know what is good and pleasing to him and what is not. By the grace God has given me, I urge you not to think that you are better than anyone else. Think and judge soberly, using the amount of faith God has given you. The church is something like your own body. It has numerous parts, and each part has to carry out its particular function. So in Christ, all of us make up one body. And in that way, we all belong to each other and need to work together just as different parts of our bodies do. In the church, we have different responsibilities depending upon our natural talents and the spiritual gifts God gave us. If you've been given the gift of prophecy, then confidently carry out your responsibility exercising faith and depending upon God to help you. If you've received the gift of pastoral concern, then do that. Or if you have the gift of teaching, then concentrate on that. If God has given you the gift to counsel and encourage others, do it. If you've been blessed monetarily, then feed the poor and help God's and support help support God's cause, but do it without display. If you have the gift of leadership, do so diligently and with care. If you've been given the capacity to show kindness and compassion, do it joyfully. Love each other sincerely, not hypocritically. Turn away from everything evil and hold on to everything good. Be kind and courteous to one another as true brothers and sisters in the family of Christ honoring each other above yourselves. Don't be lazy. Do your work enthusiastically, just as if you were working for the Lord himself, which, by the way, I think we are. Rejoice in the hope you have. Hold on to your faith and never, never stop praying. Take care of your brothers and sisters in Christ who have lost their jobs because of their faith. Open your home to them. But don't restrict your kindness only to church members. Be ready to help everyone in need. Ask God to bless those who persecute you. Bless them. Don't curse them. Be joyful with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. Show the same concern for everyone, member and non-member alike. Don't be proud and favor the rich, but associate with the poor and respect them. Don't keep thinking about how great you are. Don't get even with someone who does you wrong. You do what is right. As far as is humanly possible, try to get along with everyone. Dear friends, never take revenge, but turn your hostility over to God. The scriptures make it clear. I will see that justice is done. I will take care of it, says the Lord. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. By doing this, 
you're placing him in the hands of God for judgment. So don't let wicked people get to you. Counteract the bad things they do to you by doing good things for them. But <clears throat> there's a lot to uh, think about in those passages. Uh, I found them particularly uplifting today for many reasons, but one was just it solidifies what we're supposed to do with the talents that he gives us. I hope that God will call upon you to use your talents today and that you may be blessed and you may bless another.